Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and so today we're going to work on our December Daily. Um, just keep up going from where we were last time, and last time was the 3rd and 4th, so I'm going to do the 5th and 6th, 3rd and 4th, right? Oh, I have the 6th and 7th. That's not right. <laughs> Let me see, there's 5. So 5 and 6 is what we're doing. All right, so this one goes here, this one over here. So I have these pieces of um, ribbon here, and I'm actually using these to wrap packages this year, and so these were some pieces that I cut off. So I thought it'd be good to use those because they're a fabric. So I thought that would be nice. So how are you guys all doing today? I hope you're doing awesome. It's, uh, it's been a crazy one, right? Hope you're all staying healthy and safe and send some prayers out to Allie, the Cockney Crafter. She, her son um, has COVID tested, come back positive. So chances, you know, pretty positive that she has it because she's been sick. So um, just send some, some love her way. She's doing okay. She just feels like she's got kind of a bad cold, but it's a bummer. So that's going to go up there. And this is one of the ones that I made not the last time we did these, yes, yesterday's video, but um, the time before. I think there's a link in the description box of um, yesterday's video where you can go back and see how I did these, the first ones, but it's basically just the same process. So for this page, for the fifth, which was Saturday, um, I have this little pocket, and I got this idea from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah, and it was one of her mass makes, and um, so I'll try to remember to link her video in the description box below so you can see how she did it, and then if we have time today, um, I'll make one, but this isn't my idea, this is Tina's idea. So I'm going to put it on this page, and I'm thinking I'll probably leave that open back there, but mainly for today, we're just going to be working on this, and I have this funny little... Santa that I drew, or it's actually watercolor, but um, I used the Arteza watercolor real brush pens, and I'll link those in the description box, but um, you can get a really deep saturated color with those, which is nice. So I think I'm going to put him on here, but I'm not going to glue down his hat so that um, it's kind of like what holds the flap there. So I'm going to ink this a little bit, Let's work on getting this, and then we'll work on getting it in the journal. So yeah, I hope you guys are all doing good and staying healthy. We've got lots of cases of it around this area as well. So I think it's just everywhere now basically. To, I think I'm going to want it to come down as low as I can possibly get it and I'll glue all the way up to like the white fluff of his hat there and this is thick watercolor paper so I'm going to go ahead and use liquid glue on this just to try to make sure it stays down well especially if lifting open and close that flat Oops, I almost went up into his hat. <sighs> Duh. Okay, try to get him centered. Yeah, I made this pocket a while back. I watched um, Tina's video and made it, and I put it in my basket of all my Christmas stuff that I made. And I found it the other day and was like, that one would be good to keep, just so I know how to do it. Sorry, I had a sip of Pepsi there. But yeah, and so it sticks out a little, but I think as time, you know, goes and the book stays closed, it'll, um, it'll lay down a little bit better. But 
it makes it too easy to open. And then we have these two little, I just made book page pockets to go in here, or not pockets, um, journaling cards. So we can cover those with some fun stuff. I have, this was our Christmas tree, Saturday night. I took a picture of it because it looked pretty all lit up. And then this is Pasha Saturday during the day, sleeping under the Christmas tree. <laughs> So I thought that would be good for one. So we'll do something, something like that. And I just gotta get some papers here. Um, I kind of want I'll use scraps. I want kind of bright colors to go with that a little bit. Let's see what we got in here. That's actually Tina's festive frolics there. If I have any more of the bright you know, ones, that one would work. Nice. I should have found these before I wasn't thinking about this part of it. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get a whole lot of anything out of that. Funny the pieces you save thinking you're gonna use it for something, but it's <laughs> it's kind of silly. That would go well. The colors right. I don't think I even have any more of those. I had a whole set of papers like these and um I think that's pretty much the end of it. There's some snowflakes. I don't really have anything in that limey green color. That's from Taylor made journals. I'm doing a couple of small uh, journals using those papers again from Taylor made journals because they were so cute and happy, fun papers. So I thought I'd go ahead and do some more stuff with those. Okay, well, we'll have to make this work. That's, that's what I got. All right, if you hold on just one minute, I might have another um, one of these with the tree and other things. I'll be right back. Okay, so I found some more scraps and even some plain ones, so I think that will be great. So maybe under the Pasha one, we can put a tree, since he's laying under the tree. So let's just kind of collage this up. I haven't done any collage pages in a while. I mean, I've done a few little things, but I did do some for those um, pocketbook type journals, but um, I didn't film it. I just did them while I was watching TV. Right there. And some red. I know I didn't tear that one, but I think I'm going to put something else over that. So. Stripes or do I want? Something like this. So yeah, I'm having a lot of exciting happening around here. We had an interesting weekend because I'm filming this Monday, but you guys will see it Tuesday. But um, we, uh, my son's car, I don't want that much. I guess I'm going to tear this. Um, we changed the battery in it. Well, he changed the battery in it. And then he tried to go 
look at the lights in the city we live in with his girlfriend the other night and his car died so they never really got to look at the lights at all <laughs> because they were waiting for us to come and jump the battery and I tried to jump it I don't even know five times I think and it just wouldn't start so I brought him home and then we had to go back on Sunday and have his car towed. It must be the alternator, but I don't know. I don't know enough about cars. I just know that you could not jumpstart it. So yeah, that was fun. I felt bad because they didn't get to see the lights or anything. I mean, you could kind of see them from where they were stuck, but it wasn't like they got to go enjoy it. Goofy little cat. He just loves laying under the tree. Not the, that's probably too big. A little something with it, but. Santa would be cute with the kitty cat. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. I like that. <laughs> he lays under the tree at night and looks out the window because there's like a window right here. You can kind of see the light coming in. Cause there's a cat that wanders through every so often. And so he likes to keep his eye peeled for that. Probably the one that beat him up last time. <laughs> that, it's been a year ago that that happened because I got pictures of it in this journal. Oh, that was this side, huh? So yeah, it's hard to believe that that was a year ago. I mean, in some ways it does feel like forever ago and then other ways it feels like it just happened. I always have the sensation that time is going super fast. But at the same time with the whole COVID thing, it feels sometimes like it's hardly moving. I don't know. It's just very weird here. Everything about it has been weird. It seems I'm going to turn it a little bit so that when I put this on, it won't cover up very much. This isn't a Tim Holtz um, piece. Try to remember to link that one because I can't remember right now which place that's from. 11 and 9 or something like that it's called. <laughs> I just found those Santas in her shop and thought they were cute. You guys have been calling Pasha the Christmas cat because he just loves he loves the wrapping paper, he loves the Christmas tree, he just loves all of it. That is cute. What can we back that with? Some of this kid paper would work. Um, let's try to get it sort of the same size. Roughly, anyway, I gotta do a little extra because I'll have to tear off the other side. I had to put that over there. Okay, so I just need a little, just a little bit. So, yeah, I've been trying to get a hold of the shop where his car is and they're not answering their phone for some reason. I think they stay pretty busy. Okay. I can 
write on the back of these and then tell all the stories from the weekend. Not that there were lots, but there's a few. I thought it was okay, but it's obviously too sticky. But it wouldn't be a video if I didn't schmutz up a page with glue and ink. We also went and got a craft table thing for my craft room when we redo it, which we'll be doing after the first of the year. So if you don't see me for a bit after the first of the year, that's why. And I'll try to keep you guys updated and stuff like that. But that's what we're going to have going on around here. That one goes in there. And we'll do the Christmas tree one here. Yeah, that's a fun little pocket to do. Piece of this. Yeah, that tree is um, really nice, but we were able to find that one on such a great price. Somebody mentioned that they had that problem with their Christmas tree and so they cut off all the lights and, you know, strung it again with new lights. We tried that one year with a tree that we had. This was quite a few years back, obviously, because we had that other one for eight years. But, um, and we could just never make it look right because it's like by the time we got all those lights, like, cut off and stuff, it just looked like... Ew. I don't know what they do, but man, do they put those lights on seriously when you get those trees. And maybe we just stunk it trying to get them off, I guess, but it did not look nice at all. <laughs> but we tried. We tried that. So I donated this one. Hopefully somebody can... You know, if you were mechanical at all, or like good at those type things, you might be able to get it to work, but I just am not good at that stuff. Not mechanically inclined. than the other one. Just gonna take off a tiny bit more here. And these are old paper packs. I don't even know. It's kind of just down to the scraps and junk I've got left. I'm gonna kind of tear this a little. Just it looks too just so like perfectly perfect there. As my grandmother used to say that it made it look like oink. She would say if it didn't look good, it looked like oink. <laughs> so yeah, that's what that tree looked like when we were done with it.
I'm going to end up covering that part up anyway, so didn't matter. I probably should have made this picture bigger. I just didn't know where I was going to put it when I printed it, so I made it kind of small in case I just want to tuck it somewhere. Got that ink, that glue everywhere. And then I need to find something to put over there. I think I've got like a little one that says Christmas tree. Maybe not. Christmas chair is so huge. Could go with Yuletide. I have more of those words. old tide. <laughs> All right, scissors. So yeah, sorry I don't have much much to tell you guys. It's um pretty boring around here. I think we're all suffering the same problem because when I watch videos everybody's kind of struggling with what to talk about because usually at this time of the year you're doing things and seeing things and you know and it's just not happening <laughs> so it makes it really boring let's see Can I put a little piece of that like underneath of there yeah I better cut it with my cutter because I will cut it all crooked and we'll be here all day trying to fix it. And this is kind of loud, so you can turn down the sound. That thing works so much better than my slide one. Okay, and then we'll back it with some more of that kitty paper. I think so I have that is another piece. But it'll be fine once it's glued down, it won't be so 
bumpy bumpy I mean and it doesn't matter it's for my journal anyway so <laughs> I'm not too awful picky as long as I have some thunder ride on Oh darn, I did it again. I'm never going to learn that lesson. Okay. So there's another one. Like it. It's very festive. Okay, now that we've got them both, we can glue our little pocket in place. I don't want to bend them too much. I'll kind of center, central, centralize it there. <laughs> it's kind of heavy. Use some tacky glue. I'll leave the back open in case I want to tuck something in there, but it doesn't even really need anything else because it's, like I said, it's a little bit heavy. I might put like another piece of ribbon or something along the bottom. This thing's going to be so fat, it's not even going to remotely close <laughs> with two years of stuff in it. You know, this is a whole lot uh, less exciting, but still putting lots of stuff in. Okay, so this ribbon I'm going to put over here and then put this one on there. So for the sixth, I'm going to use the stuff that I have from Theron's adventure. Even though that he actually went on Saturday night, it was yesterday that we did most of the, most everything with the car. on that from that fabric. Did you get it working? Oh, I don't know. I just thought you might have. His computer is doing something crazy just to top it off. Top off the fun. <laughs> Do you have any black pens? Like nice ones? Yeah, Aiden's got them somewhere. I, don't... I think there's one downstairs. My set of black pens. OK. 
Okay, so I took a picture of the lights, so there's that. And then this is Theron's car getting towed. <laughs> so we'll probably tell the story or something over here, because I don't have, I wonder if I could put, I just want that to stay there. These don't want to stay down either very well. I guess we'll put it up here too. I'm just looking for something to make lines with. I don't know if this will work, but we're going to try it. Use this to put over this because I know I won't be able to do it without there. So this is just corrugated cardboard. And this is a big, you know, it's pretty thick corrugation on there. So anywhere you can find cor corrugated cardboard, that works pretty good. And I need just like a piece. Because I just don't want it on that. Oh, I did them the wrong way. Well, luckily it didn't really work. <laughs> you guys were probably yelling at me, huh? It's such a dope. <laughs> oh <my> gosh. <laughs> Yeesh, sorry, I probably shook the whole camera and everything because uh, the whole table is moving. And some of it will get covered by the pictures, but... Okay, that at least gives us sort of lines to write on. So maybe some decorative paper under that would look better. No, we don't want happy and joy. <laughs> Let's do some Christmas trees. Because <laughs> I wasn't feeling very happy and joy at all. <laughs> Real irritating and aggravating was more like it. When it rains, it pours too, it seems. to here. I don't know how much I want there. Not that wide. I've got all the cards and stuff that go in this journal just sitting over there. Kind of in the way. Let's tear these ones off. A little askew. Yeah, it's not great, but that's what we're gonna do. And then later I'll probably think of other things to do to it, because <laughs> that's what I usually do. It's been so bitter cold. I'm actually not that surprised that that, well, that, that car has had so much trouble because it's just been freezing that the alternator really has anything to do with that. but. Just been 
one thing after another, kind of. <clears throat> Sticking to it, and now there's ink on there for my finger. Yeah, it's so pretty down there with all those lights, though, in our little, our little tiny city. <laughs> well, it's not that tiny, but compared to a lot of places, I'm sure that people would say it's tiny. Small town has that. Oh, I forgot to ink around that one. Bubble in there. only thing, you know, you get those cars inexpensive. Oh, well, it's his grandpa's car and he basically, get, you know, sold it to him for not very much, so can't really complain about having to fix it up a little, but that's, it's funny because it just starts to be one thing after another, kind of, with the older cars. All right. So there's our pages, and so we've got to do the writing and our little pocket there. So I'm going to put this aside to let it dry, and then we will do, I'll just kind of show you how that, the folding of that pocket. And again, this is Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah. So basically you're going to take and this is just a scrap, so use what you've got if you can, you know, instead of having to cut it. It doesn't really matter the size, but I'll give you an idea of what this piece is. I'm probably going to cut it shorter, but just right now it's like 8 by 12. So you're kind of just folding it into um, the center like you would if you were making like a coin envelope or something like that. So this one's going to be smaller than the other one, that's why I was saying I'll probably cut it down. So you can make them any size, you know, if you used a whole 12 inch sheet uh, widthwise, then you're going to get a bigger pocket and smaller as you cut it down, right? So I'm thinking I kind of want pockets that are about probably four, so I think I'm going to cut it right here. So I'm just going to use my blade and my ruler. That will just be easier. So let's get it straight here. And we won't have to worry about any noise. So there's that. I did with my lid. Set it back in there before oh, there it is. Before I cut myself. Okay, and then you're basically just going to kind of fold these sides in to get the pocket. And you could cut them off if you want to, but it kind of adds a little strength to your pocket. And I don't know if this is going to work because these are uneven. I didn't even think about that part, but we'll see if it looks weird. But probably it's going to look weird. So I guess you should really try to make these equal. <laughs> Yeah, see, they're not folding at the same angle. So, let me see. Is that... I don't know, it's really not that bad. It doesn't bug me. You get the idea. You might want to make the, this fold and this fold the same size. You know, that would, it would come out better. I'll just say that. But for purposes of just showing you how to do it. So probably using a scoreboard would be a good idea to get them the same size. OK, 
Okay. Yeah, it really doesn't affect it. And then you fold it in half so that you get that, you know, pocket. And then what I did is I covered one half with another decorative paper and then you cut a piece to make a flap. So I think I'll use that smaller piece of this that I just cut off of. It might be a little bit better work. Okay, so we need it to be just over. I'm going to use my cutter for this. So sorry. Over three and a half. Need a bigger fork area, I'm telling you. Gonna fit inside of there. You know, it needs to be a tiny bit smaller. Just a very tiny bit. a little bit as well. So we'll cut it at five. Oh, it's still going to be too big, honestly. Okay. Both sides of that textured, yes. So I'm just going to put it in there a little ways and then I'm going to fold it. Actually, we can come down and we'll score it. Right there. And you can make your flap whatever size if you want it shorter. It, this is about an inch and a half. But you can make it whatever size you want it. And then you're just going to round those corners. <laughs> I need a day of just straightening this place up. It is a disaster. Why is that one not? There go. So that makes your little fold flap. And then I think we'll put the same piece, just this piece in here, and glue those down. So see, that makes sure it gives your pocket a little more strength and it, um, you know, has color instead of the white. But if you like the white, you can just leave it. You don't have to add any other pieces anywhere. So. Gonna put glue, and if you do this ahead of time, is this one? Yeah, I thought it was dry for a minute. I'm just gonna open this up. Oh, let's glue these flaps down too while we're at it, just so they're staying there. So don't, that's why I didn't glue it together first. It just makes it a lot easier to put these other pieces in if you can open it back up. Because if you glue it closed, it you know, it just makes it <laughs> a whole lot harder than it needs to be. Okay. I'm gonna try to get a pretty good layer on there so it's not lifting especially at the corners. 
fold this over and try to get it lined up really well here at the top so that that flap sorry for my head in there So then by doing this, I have another one all ready to go in my basket. And you can ink it, of course, and do decorate it and whatever. But these are just real simple, fun pockets. So thank you, Tina. That's are really awesome. Just going to put some glue along here. And along here, come down just a little ways on this. So yeah, that would be my suggestion is to um, try to make these two pieces the same size. But I mean, it still worked just fine. It's not a big deal. Let's get this good score. flap goes like that so yeah those are super fun I love it so I hope you guys liked that I hope it was helpful and have an awesome evening and um, thank you to all my new subscribers welcome and welcome back to all my subscribers who have been with me we'll chat again soon talk to you later bye bye